Hello, bonjour mes chers amis. Today we are going to make a Father's Day card. You could make a card for dad, for grandpa, for an uncle, for a friend or a family friend, maybe for mom. Whoever is special in your life and you want to show some love on Father's Day, you can make them this card. So you will need a paper. So I picked um, an orange piece of construction paper and also a second piece, but it can just be a scrap. So I have this scrap piece of blue paper. If you wanna use a full page, that works too. I'm going to start by folding my page in half. So I'm gonna do my best to line up the corners over here. It's not perfect, but that's okay. We're still learning. And I'm just going to flatten it. And open it up. Now I'm gonna flatten this. I just needed that fold to give me a line here. So I can see my line, but my paper is flat. And I'm going to take the edges of my paper now and fold them in towards the middle. So I want to line up this edge of my page with this line I made with my fold. And push it down. And the same thing on the other side, I'm lining up this middle or this edge to the middle. Line it up and push it down. I'm trying not to overlap them, but if yours overlaps a little bit or if it's not quite straight, don't worry about it. We're just doing our best as usual. All right, so now I have a card that opens from the middle. Cool. Now I'm going to take this top corner and fold it down from the corner of my card and just push it so that I have a triangle flap. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm trying to line up this middle part and flatten it all the way to the corner. There we go. Do you see it kind of looks like a shirt collar? Awesome. So our card is going to be a shirt. I'm going to take my pencil and just make a little mark, a little spot there, just to use when I open it up to do my drawing, because my drawing is gonna be kind of like a secret message. So I just put a little dot right there so I knew how much space to leave open. Okay, now I'm going to make a drawing. So our card is going to look like just a regular shirt on the outside, and when we open it up, it's going to be a superhero, because our dads, our uncles, our grandpas, the adults in our life really are superheroes, especially right now. So I'm going to draw a Superman symbol, but you can draw any kind of superhero symbol you'd like if you want it to be a superhero that you know, or if you want it to just be like a symbol that your, your, the, whoever you're making the card for will like, then you can do that. But I'm going to show you how to do a Superman symbol. And I, I'm just learning, so it might not look exactly how you imagine it, but I'm gonna do my best. So I see my little dot here, I'm gonna make sure to draw underneath that. I don't want any drawings up at the top. I'm gonna draw a straight line all the way across. Well, not all the way across, I'm leaving some space on either side. Straight line with some space on either side. Bravo, good job. Now I'm going to draw a little diagonal line. It's just short, that goes towards the edge of my page. And the same thing on the other side. Just a short diagonal line. I'm doing this with my marker so that you can see it better, but if you do this with your pencil, you can um, erase it if you need to. You can also try this, and if it doesn't quite work, try it again on a new page by watching the video again, or just, you know, making it work, being creative. Awesome. Now I'm going to connect these two little lines in the bottom. So I'm just gonna touch the edge, and I'm gonna bring it down towards the middle of my page. And I still have that line from when I folded my paper, so I know that that's the middle. Yours isn't exactly in the middle. You can just kind of make it work. Just do your best. So I have kind of like a diamond symbol. Now I'm just going to make trace that diamond so that I have like a, a border, an edge. So I'm gonna do the same line across with just a little bit of space. The same lines down diagonally, and then the same lines to connect at the bottom. There you go. Now we have our diamond outline. If you're going to do a Superman symbol, we're going to just make a tiny, tiny little triangle at the top on the right hand side. 
very small little triangle. So I just did down and up. If you're not making a Superman symbol, you can do whatever you want in here. You could write dad, you could draw golf clubs. If your dad likes to golf, you could draw some cooking symbols. If your dad likes to cook, whatever, whatever you think, whoever you're making that card for, you can make it special for them. Beside my triangle now, to the right, I'm going to make a little line down. Not too big, I'm still leaving space here. And then a little line across. And my triangle shape is inside there. So my line is longer than where my triangle is. Hope that makes sense. All right, the next part, watch carefully, we're going to make a, a loop-de-loop-de line. So I'm touching my edge, and I'm just going to make a curved line towards the top, towards the bottom, and I'm gonna keep curving it and touch that edge. You can maybe see we're starting to look like an S for Superman. The bottom here, we're gonna make a, just a curved line inside our point from one edge to the other. So I did triangle, little line down, little line across, loop to touch the other edge. Just do your best. It's kind of like a C and then it touches down there. Then just a little curved line at the bottom. Now on this edge, so we touched our right edge. Now we're gonna to touch our left edge. We're just gonna go up and a little, a little bump, kind of like an upside down U, little bump. And I'm gonna take that bump and loop it around. So I'm kind of tracing the line I already have and touching the top. So, you know, I did my best. It kind of looks like Superman. <laughs> I might need to keep practicing, but I think that my dad is gonna like it anyways. All right, now we're going to write a message. We're going to write, you are a super dad. So you, Y, O, U. You can see I started right at the edge, right underneath so that I can have as much space as I need. My letters are not too small, but they're not too big either. U, finger space, A, R, E, U, R, finger space, Ah, uh, finger space, super, S-U-P-E-R, and a little dash, you are a super dad. If you're making a card for dad, then you can write dad, D, I'm going to write it in big letters, you do it however you want, D-A-D, -D, and an exclamation point because I'm excited. You are a super dad. Now I know you might not all be making your cards for dad. If you're making your card for grandpa, you could write, you are a super grandpa. G, R, A, N, D, P, A. And there's lots of names that you might call your grandpa. If you call him something else, you can ask for some help to write that word. I call my grandpa, grandpa. But if you call him Papa or Guido or, um, or whatever you call him, you can ask for some help. You might be making your card for uncle. You are a super uncle. U N C L E. Uncle. Good job. Or you might be making it for mom. You are a super mom. M O M. If you're making your card for anybody else, just ask for some help or do your best to write their name. I'm sure they will be happy however you do it. And I'm going to sign it at the bottom here. I'm going to write from F R O M dot dot. And my name is Madame Cher. I'm going to write my own name, Madame Cher. You write your own name. Your card isn't from Madame Cher. Your card is from you. Unique from you. So you write your own name. Wonderful. When the video is over, if you want, you can take your markers or crayons and you can color in your symbol however you want. You can decorate it, making it unique, beautiful. Then I'm gonna fold my card over. I might need to push my lines down again. 
and I'm going to decorate this shirt. So I'm going to make a tie for my shirt. So I'm taking my scrap paper and it's about the right length for my tie, just little. I'm gonna fold it in half. If you're using a full piece of paper like this, you can just fold it at the edge and then just use that. All right, so I have my folded piece of paper and I'm going to draw at the edge that is folded, I'm going to start, I'm going to draw a semicircle, a half circle. And my edges touch that folded edge, semicircle. And I'm going to make a long line from my semicircle down towards the bottom. And then I'm going to connect that to the edge with a small line. So a long diagonal line, short diagonal line. Semicircle, long diagonal line, short diagonal line. And when I open it up, there's nothing on the other side right now, but I'm going to keep it folded. Take my scissors and I'm going to cut that out. So I keep my scissors pointing forward and I just move my paper. It takes practice. I'm cutting both pages because it's folded. When I get to where my diagonal line touches my semicircle, I'm gonna turn and take that diagonal line. If you cut your semicircle all the way out, that's okay, you can glue it back together. All right, now I open it up, flatten it out, and I have a tie shape. And I just flipped my, my little tie over so that I don't have my pencil or marker lines. And I have a tie, so I'm going to grab my card I'm just going to place it there. Look how cute that is. Take my glue and I'm just going to put glue on one half of that tie. So I still have my line that shows me what half will be and I'm gonna cover that half with glue. And I'm going to glue that down on the edge. It might take a little bit of practice. Practice your fine motor skills to get that tie kind of in the middle so it's only glued to one side of your paper. When I open it up, it opens easy. It's only glued to this side. And maybe we'll take marker to decorate that tie. You can decorate however you want. Polka dots, lines, shapes. Maybe you want to write dad or I love you. Maybe your dad has a special tie that you really like and you want to draw that tie in particular. My dad had a Fred Flintstone tie when I was growing up. That was my favorite. Maybe I could draw one with Fred Flintstone on it for him. All right, now I have a decorated tie. Take as much time as you need to do that. I'm going to add some buttons on my collar. So just a circle with two dots. A circle with two dots. You might have some real buttons, some spare buttons lying around. You could glue those on, Ethan. That would be really cool. Some buttons going down the bottom of my shirt. And that's it. So from the outside of the card, it just looks like a plain old shirt, hey? And when we open it up, we see it's really a superhero in disguise. Your superhero dad, grandpa, uncle, mom, whoever you're making this card for. I hope you had fun. If you need to watch the video again or slow it down, go ahead. Just do your best and I hope that everybody enjoys your cards. Thanks for coming. Au revoir!